everybody, it's your old pal Jazz McKay, and in this video I take a break from politics and demonstrate why classic rock radio sucks. But first, we got some business to take care of. Before we go any further, please subscribe to my channel and click on that little bell so you get notified every time we've posted a new video, which we do pretty regularly. Okay, now uh, I started in the radio broadcasting business back in the uh, mid 1970s, boys and girls. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, we need a. Um, we're going to need a disclaimer uh, before we continue. Do we have a disclaimer, please? No disc jockeys were harmed during the production of this video. However, some corporate program directors' feelings may be hurt. Fuck them. Okay, as I was saying, uh, I've been in the radio broadcasting business for 45 years, and I know a little bit about how the business works, uh, but I'm also a listener. And I was born in 1958, placing me smack dab in the upper end of the classic rock radio format demographic. 35, 64 males and uh, 55 plus males. I'm 62 years old for the benefit of the mathematically challenged. I mostly listen to talk radio, which also targets, by the way, 35, 64 males and 55 plus male audience members. Uh, so when I get into my car here in Bakersfield, California, it's usually tuned to uh, 97.7 FM or 96.1, which are our two uh, major talk radio stations here in uh, Kern County. So, but uh, the question, why do I listen to talk radio? Why would I rather listen to talk radio than music radio? Uh, talk radio, besides keeping me informed uh, on all the latest news and information, talk radio is not predictable. With talk radio, it's, uh, it's, it's, there's more variety. You've got uh, different hosts who have different opinions and different takes on the news of the day. There's more variety in talk radio than any other format. As a 60 plus year old man, I don't want to hear the same songs over and over and over again like I did maybe when I was 13, 14 years old. But there are times when I get kind of tired of listening to the talk and I just want to listen to some music. Or there's that time of day, which is uh, here in Bakersfield, between three and six o'clock when they're really isn't any quality talk radio to listen to, to be perfectly honest. So I want to listen to music radio. I will switch over, I will flip over, and I will listen to Bakersfield's classic rock radio station, which is 98.5 The Fox, and I can predict exactly what song is going to be playing every time I do it. I don't know how it is that I can do it, but I can do it. I know how it is I can do it. It's because classic rock radio sucks. It's predictable. It's predictable because it's repetitive. Watch this little radio experiment that I conducted sitting in a parking lot the other day waiting for my wife. Check it out. I'll turn on the radio, and I think it's set at KNZR 97.7. And uh, we'll see what's uh, what's what's happening there. Let's let's just do this right now. Just turn on the radio. There it is. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to get too much in the weeds, but I think the biggest one is the one that no one's talking about, and that's the dollar. Right, Let that's, me explain. That's ninety-seven hundred dollars. <laughs> but we don't earn dollars. Oh yeah, that's um, dollars can be exchanged. Andy Barkey is sitting in for uh, the paycheck represents what for Terry Maxwell for. today. So we're talking so about the finances the and stuff like that. Let me flip over. Let's see what's going on on KERN. Let's see here. Anyway, what do you got? Anything else? Do you think the season is... Where do we stand COVID? Well, there's, there's Ralph Bailey. Ralph on KERN. Yeah, delaying. Putting on he's the, kind, teams are kind of breaking protocol. And, he's you know, talking about... Uh, exactly. He's talking about NFL. He's talking about sports. Okay, now that's the two talk stations in town. KNZR and uh, uh, KERN. And you could hear the, the one guy uh, was talking about finances and talking about stocks and things like that. The other guy's talking about the NFL. He's talking about sports. There you go. Diversity and talk radio. Two completely opposite discussions 
about different topics. But now, watch this. When I switch the station over to uh, 98.5 The Fox, the classic rock radio station here in Bakersfield, and I can predict exactly what song, actually songs, uh, they'll be playing. Let's just see what song comes on. I gar I promise you, it will, I, I, well, I can't promise you this. This is kind of a, but let's see. Let's, let's just do a little experiment here. And see, it's either going to be Journey, It'll either be Journey or it'll be Boston. What do you want to bet? Here it is, uh, 3.40 in the afternoon. Let's flip it over and see what we have. Let me, let me go over here. Ready? We're going to go to 98.5 The Fox. I love the Bills. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Journey going into Boston. There it is. 98. How, okay, let me turn that off. Now, how did I do that? Was that some kind of black magic there or something? What are you, uh, one of them there psychics? No, it's just that um, uh, classic rock radio is so freaking predictable and predictably bad too I, i'm sorry if you're a journey fan or or if you love boston but that, that steve perry crap with journey always sucked and boston was just overproduced claptrap what did they have in common even though they came from two different eras of music one from the 70s and one from the 80s is they had no soul soulless corporate rock for soulless corporate radio it's as if the music is selected by the same uh, guy that picks the songs for those time life infomercials hawking those uh, summer of love or or sounds of the 70s cds time life music presents Sounds of the 70s. When I watch these stupid time life things, I want to scream at my TV, you idiots, you could buy an iPod and download all those songs or get XM and actually hear and rediscover all that music and so much more and better songs too. Those time life commercials and, and classic rock radio stations, they symbolize exactly how marketers do not understand how 50 plus year old people think, whether it's those goofy fidelity ads, you know, with rock stars or, or whether it's trivializing our culture back then. I mean, the marketing to baby boomers is laughable at best and fucking insulting at worst. When I listen to classic rock, I want to be able to say, wow, man, I have not heard that song in years. Instead of, oh, crap, not that song again. Classic rock radio stations program like 250, maybe 300 songs, and that's it. When they could pick from literally thousands. For instance, Robin Trower, Pat Travers, Humble Pie. How about Savoy Brown, Hellbound Train, huh? And ACDC with Bon Scott. Or Motorhead. How about the Ramones? Oh, and Ted Nugent, but not Cat Scratch Fever. Maybe uh, Great White Buffalo. And if you want to hear Journey, how about the Greg Rowley days before Steve Perry pussified that band? iHeart Radio, which up until they changed their name after their nine millionth bankruptcy, was uh, known as Clear Channel, and they are pure evil. iHeart Radio slash Clear Channel ruined classic rock radio with corporate programming. And guess what 98.5 The Fox is? Yeah, right. Yeah, iHeart Radio. Please, somebody, uh, start a new uh, classic rock radio station in Bakersfield, and not a classic hits station or any of that other uh, hybrid shit, and hire me to program it. I'd actually come out of retirement to do that. If you agree, or even if you don't, please leave your comments in the comment section below and let me know what you think. I'm Jazz McKay. God bless America and God save classic rock. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure and like this video. Subscribe to my channel, share to your social media, and leave nasty comments below. God bless America and death to the new world order.